Article 45 uh, is a lengthy article relating to uh, the proposed establishment of a Heritage Commission. Due to the length of uh, this Article 45, I would entertain a motion to waive reading it in its entirety. Moved so by moved. Mr. Bridal, seconded by Ms. Barnes. All those in favor of dispensing with the reading? Thank you. Any opposed? All right, and now I would look for a motion to open discussion on Article 45. Moved by Ms. Barnes. Do I have a second? Seconded by Ms. Woolsey. Uh, is there anyone who wishes to be heard on Article 45, which relates to establishing a Heritage Commission? Yes. Jason thank you Bashan, very much. our town planner. Yep, thank you very much, Jason Bashan, town planner. Um, this uh, article is prepared in response, or it follows the 2015 town meeting um, Article 35 vote, which passed abolishing the then existing Heritage Commission. Um, since that time, the town has seen development projects that have had an effect on older buildings and site features. Uh, this has resulted in a renewed interest in efforts to encourage the preservation of buildings and places of historical interest, architectural significance, and community value. Um, this was a topic the planning board had discussed over a number of its meetings back in 2018, and ultimately th this article was proposed. Just to touch upon a couple of uh, points from the article, um, it tracks the RSAs um, on heritage commissions, uh, specifically 674-44B, for the purpose of outlining the advisory and review authority of the Heritage Commission, which you can see up on, on the screen there. Um, the article also specifies the manner in which regular and alternate members are to be appointed, in addition to cite, uh, stating the need for the commission to elect a chairman, a vice chairman, and ultimately establish its own rules of procedure after it is formed. So just a little background on that one. Um, the vote on that was 6-1 from the planning board, um, but that's the background on that article. So thank you. Thank you, Jason. Uh, anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 45? Mr. Rice. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Fred Rice, 15 Heather Lane. Um, I served on the previous Heritage Commission during its entire life from the time it was formed in about 1998, I believe it was, until it was disbanded a couple of years ago. The reason it was disbanded was because it was basically a non-functional uh, body. Uh, we could reestablish it, but it would be like bringing Lazarus back from the dead. It was virtually impossible to get anybody to serve on this board. And the reason was because it has no real function. There's nobody in this town that loves the history of this town and the preservation of its old buildings any more than I do. I grew up when most of these buildings in town weren't even here, and I want to preserve the old ones. But a Heritage Commission has absolutely no function in being able to do this. And I challenge anybody to prove me wrong on that. It has no teeth. It has no authority to do any of these things. The only way you can prevent, you can preserve the old portions of town uh, is to have the building inspector refuse to approve a demolition permit. We tried several years ago to come up with a historic district ordinance. And I want to tell you, that got more resistance than you can believe. Nobody wants to have someone else tell them whether they can paint their house, what color it is, whether they can add shutters or not, whether they can change any of the trim, change anything about that structure, renovate it or anything else. That's what a historic district uh, would do. There are only so many places you could put a historic district in town. One is in the center of downtown, and most of that has already gone well beyond that to the point where, what are you, what are you gonna, are you gonna redo the, the 401 Tavern so that it's like the way it was 100 years ago? It's not at all the same building that I remember when I was a kid, but it's beyond being able to preserve it. The other area of town is around the ring, Winnicott Road, Park Avenue, and the residents around there do a great job of maintaining their properties. And they resist like crazy anybody telling them what they can or cannot do. As far as the other um, functions in here, um, I've, I've got to go down these, Mr. Moderator, because they are, they are specific to, to why this is not a good idea. Surveying and inventorying of all cultural resources. The Hampton Historical Society does that in spades already. 
We tried to do it when, uh, on the Heritage Commission, found there was no, we couldn't add anything to what the Historical Society already had. To conduct research and publish findings and so forth about the historic uh, district and its ordinances, we couldn't do any of that and, anywhere, and even hold a candle to what the Hampton Historical Society was doing. C, assist the planning board as requested in the development review of item. Yes, we did. We worked with the planning board. We had a rubber stamp for demolition permits. And there was, we made sure that they took pictures and recorded what the building looked like. Beyond that, we had no authority to stop them from destroying a building if they chose to do so. There's one very famous one in town here um, that used to be um, the, the uh, Newicks. When it got torn down, it was done without any demolition permit whatsoever. A large building that was taken down a piece at a time and was never given a demolition permit. Advise the local agencies uh, of matters affecting cultural and historic resources. Nobody in town can do that. A brand new five member board can't do that. The historical society can. Publicizing it activities. They put out a newsletter, they, they're online and everything else. They already do these things. Receive gifts of money and property. Sorry, that ain't gonna happen. We tried that for 15 years to get authority from the town to receive money and property and weren't able to get it. We weren't able to own any property. Our only cultural property, and it, the, it came down to the grist mill, the blacksmith shop, the fish houses, the cooperage. That's it. There are no other things for a, a Heritage Commission to take charge of. They just aren't there and we had no role whatsoever in it. We had to, it took an act of Congress practically to be able to get access to the fish houses so we could see what they looked like to see what shape they were in. We couldn't go near the grist mill. Is a new group gonna have that authority magically out of somewhere when we couldn't before? Uh, there's a thing about acquiring property. We had no budget, we never had a budget. The only way we, the only thing we ended up doing on the Heritage Commission was the placards for old houses built circa 1810 or whatever. And, it, and the people in the houses had to buy them themselves. There was no public money for that. So other than uh, the, the, the uh, wild belief that we can establish a historic commission when it was soundly defeated before, there's no value in that. I want to keep these buildings, but this is not the way to do it. I would recommend very, very strongly that we not try to uh, amend this, uh, adopt this this year. I think that we should take a year and look at what of these functions can be performed to the same degree that this calls for in here by the historic, uh, Hampton Historical Society. They are a nonprofit, we can't disturb that, but we can discuss with them what they can provide in the way of information and resources to help preserve old buildings in the town. We can certainly do that. And I think that it would be worth taking the time to sit down, look at the problem, rather than just trying to, I mean, we got rid of the old Heritage Commission for a reason, it did not work. The Board of Selectmen representative, the Planning Board representative, the two of them never came. They had them on there before. They never came to the meetings. We got down to three or four people that were there. We had some alternates that would come in as often as the regular members. But it was a totally non-functional deal and there's nothing that's gonna magically give it powers that it doesn't have. There is no ability other than a historic di district that has been shot down before that could possibly save old houses in the town. There are other methods that are far more effective. I urge you not to vote for this. I urge you to vote against it. Uh, by the way, I have spoken to a couple of the members of the planning board and they agree in concept. They wanted to make sure, you're not gonna amend this, are you? No, I don't wanna amend it, I wanna kill it. I wanna kill it. I wanna do it the right way next year. And I would gladly be a part of any discussions that would help educate the people that think a heritage commission is a good idea as to why it had such a difficult time in this town this, over the last 15 years. That's not just a day or two of experience, that's 15 years when it didn't work. Don't try to resurrect the dead. 
Thank you, Mr. Rice. Ms. Carnaby. Ann Carnaby, Tide Mill Road. Clearly, we need all the help we can get to preserve our history in this town. We need Heritage Commission, we need historic districts, we need the Historical Society. We have more history in this town than most, and we're losing it fairly rapidly to neglect, um, demolition, whatever. And I, I truly believe that, you know, if at first a Heritage Commission doesn't succeed, then we should perhaps try, try again. And let's pass this and let's have another group of people. There's, there's a lot of empowerment in the RSAs for the Heritage Commission. Let's see what we can do this time around. Thank you, Ms. Carnaby. Uh, Mr. Lessard. Um, I would agree with Ian. There's a lot of history in our community. Um, what, 1638? Um, yeah, the Historical Commission was voted out. I believe it was the Board of Selectmen eliminated it, and there was a problem with people, um, volunteers. Of course, there's a problem with volunteers and everything. If we just look in the audience at the 30 people here, um, hopefully everybody's watching us at home while they're vacuuming or something. Um, I say that lightly. I know people look at it and take it seriously, but um, maybe we miss what's gone. Maybe we, we need the Heritage Commission because we realize some of the powers it had. Um, the, concert, the Hampton Historical Site does a wonderful job, but they really don't have all the powers that the RSA grants Historical Commission. Um, I rise in support of this, and it's not taking anybody's land rights away. It's not taking their buildings. It's not raising money to buy them and restore them, but it is forcing documentation. Um, we just had a, a case before the planning board, which a lot of folks are upset with, on Winnicunnet Road, where an antique um, Cape Cod will be um, removed or demoed. And um, there was a lot of folks that thought maybe it could be preserved or relocated to a, along Winnicunnet Road so it looked like it belonged there and would be preserved. But there was very little teeth or any other rules that, um, or anything just to pump the brakes of the developers so they could take a second breath and look at what impact they are going to have the community and allow the community to talk about a loss that we may suffer. Because once it's gone, it's not coming back. So. I hope that's not the case with the Heritage Commission. I hope that it's gone, but now that we bring it back, please vote yes and support the, historic, uh, the Heritage Commission. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Lissard. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Ms. Woolsey? Yes, I agree with Keith and Anne. And this town goes back to 1638. There's a beautiful old home, about 1790 vintage, uh, on Winnicunnet Road that's in danger of being demolished or removed by developers. Let's keep what little heritage we have left. Some of these structures are very, uh, very valuable to this community. And I certainly support and will vote for this article. Thank you, Ms. Wolsey. Anyone else wish to be heard? Seeing none, Article 45 will appear on the ballot as printed.